How about this, man? College Avenue. It's good to be back. Awesome, awesome. So much has changed. I mean, wow. wow. Real different, man. Yeah, it's a lot of upgrades. Is upgrade, yeah. <laughs> Huge upgrades. I remember uh, sort of our first, uh, first week in SCP, SCP-90, and there were a hundred of us together in that dormitory yeah. room, and we were family. Yeah. And we were family, and that's what, that's what SCP and Horizons and, and now CARE is all about. So I became a student and a uh, participant in the summer enrichment programs and Horizons programs in summer of 1986. I was introduced to the program uh, back at my high school as a way to really enter into college and get a transition step. CARE did not just spring out of its present form, but it really was built on the shoulders of many programs that were in place at Florida State back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, uh, like Horizons Unlimited and the Summer Enrichment Program. In 1968, the university and the faculty senate created Horizons Unlimited to really find a way to increase black enrollment at Florida State. Well, the Summer Enrichment Program, SEP, was designed to bring in minority students in through the summer and to help them transition into the university. The Horizons Unlimited program was a program designed to assist students throughout the course of the academic school year. Over the next two decades, uh, multiple programs, minority academic programs, multicultural student support services, multicultural student affairs, all of these different programs and services were created um, to serve underrepresented students at FSU. A lot of these, if not all of these students, came from low socioeconomic backgrounds and they really needed the kind of support. And I think when you um, or a large institution like this, and you are a part of a special, smaller group, it provides a kind of psychological support. It was sort of like a family. The CARE students are really model citizens for Florida State University, and they, they set a tone that's very powerful and inspiring, I think, to many students. Well, when my sister got here in 86 that summer, um, the support that she had enabled me to kind of look and say, well, maybe I should <laughs> go somewhere while I know I'll have some support. So even throughout my four years at FSU being pre-med and trying to keep all of that together, I relied on the university to help me become a physician and I needed that support because I, all I knew from seventh grade is that's what I was going to do, but I didn't really have all of the steps in place. What I thought college was, was going to be a straight academic cycle of coursework and just a process. It created a real family away from my family. It changed my life because those relationships I carried forward, those university experience programs and the Horizons Unlimited program, those programs were the precursor to what CARE is. The university merged all of these programs and departments into a singular department um, and rebranded us as CARE. And so we are essentially all of those programs as a singular department here at FSU. Though African American students account for about two thirds of the participants in CARE, the program is not based on race, but on socioeconomic factors. The focus of the program changed from exclusively minority students to economically disadvantaged and first-generation college students. I'm Latin American. Uh, my parents were born in uh, Nicaragua, so uh, there was a lot of conflict, uh, a bit of a, a, a civil war, and so um, through that we were able to migrate to the United States. So when I first got here, I actually I remember the first day we were moving in, and I didn't, you know, I didn't really know anybody. Um, so it, it took a while for me to get adjusted, and so definitely we didn't care. You know, we didn't have necessarily have to worry about food or even transportation. You know, I just had to worry about my school. That was pretty much it. To me, community means that you have support. You have um, the same goals in mind. The students were very competitive in my summer SEP, and um, a lot of them were all top 10 or top 15 in their classes. And so you kind of have a lot of like-minded people. Man, you can't, can't say enough about you know, this being the start of where I hope some great things are gonna happen in it. That's what happened. Alumni of Horizons Unlimited and SEP 
are some of the most successful alumni that Florida State has had. And to have a first generation student come in and see that example is very powerful. When you're in the program, they don't let you be on the sidelines. Uh, they don't let you go unchallenged. You learn so many different lessons. Those things are things that I use now as an entrepreneur. It's those lessons I learned in the Horizons Unlimited program that helped prepare me to go in courtrooms and fight for a due process of the law for all Americans. And that's what this program was about, saying you can find yourself and find your purpose in life.